I have covered this dream gen opus series of models in the past and always have found them of very high quality when it comes to story writing and role play. The good thing about these model is that you can steer the conversation as you like and that in my opinion is one of the best thing a role play model could do. In this video we are going to play around with this Lama 3 dream gen opus model locally and then we will see how it works. I will be using a count of this model as um, possible high as I could because it's a big model. It's a fine tune of Lama 370 billion specific and tailored to role play and story writing. Before I do the installation and we play around with it, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and the GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code which will give you 50% discount on a range of GPUs. I have been using them for some time and the quality is quite good. Now coming back to this model, there are a lot of cards available on their Hugging Face page and I will drop the link to it in video description too. So this Dream Gen Opus 1.4 is based on Lama 370 billion dream gen opus models are focused on steerable story writing and role playing and this one is the best one yet in the opus series now whenever you are doing some story writing or role play your prompt matters a lot because you have to build a character you have to build a plot and you have to properly take turns to make sure that everything is running fine so let me also quickly show you how you can do that to steer the prompt. Also one interesting fact about this model is that this was trained for two epochs on greater than 100 million tokens each. Compared to earlier versions of Dream Genopus, they have added more and high quality regular assistant like examples to make sure that the intelligence of the underlying model does not degrade too much and it does not become mechanical. Okay, now let's let me um, show you how you can make sure that your prompt is good enough and I will be using LM Studio as a tool for it. So if you go to the hugging face page of this model and you go to this file which is roleplaying.json, you will see that they have given this preset which is primarily a JSON configuration that tells what are the characters, what is uh, end of sentence, end of turn, start of turn, that your EOT is end of turn, it is specific to Lama 3 model and I have covered it in detail. And then you see there is one character Gandalf and then the other one is Dumbledore. You can just create your own if you like. And then there is a pre-prompt which is also served as a system prompt when we will import it. So all you need to do is just grab this file as a JSON. You can download it or just copy it. It's a small file. Then go to your terminal and in your terminal just create a new file just give it any name but make sure that the extension is .json and i have simply copy pasted it here once you do that launch your lm studio in lm studio type dream gen press enter and you will see that just few hours ago some the dream gen itself has done some quantization so i have downloaded this one which is a full gpu upload possible uh, once that's done let me quickly show you the file. This is a file just around 32 gig. Let me make it a bit bigger. The screen I mean. Yep. Okay. And then if I just make it down here. So model is loaded. On the right hand side. Once you go to the preset. You see I already have imported it. For you all you need to do. Is to just click on presets. In this downward arrow. Then import preset file. And select that file which you have just save and then it is going to set everything you see on the right hand side everything is set as a preset all the roles all the characters or you can replace your own here as you please my model is loaded it's, uh, i try to offload it to gpu but it doesn't offload fully so that is fine now in order to carry on what i'm doing here is i've just given it uh, some of the text which i obtained from my another llama 3 model just to carry the conversation off that okay because if you read that preset json from their side what they have done is they have just given some of the preamble of the story 
and then i am just carrying it on as an aftermath of that duel between gandalf and all that stuff the character so it is just going to read this and it is going to carry it on so you see it is not really uh, working because it says that error occurred so let me reload the model so that is a problem with this huge model that even 48 gb of vram is not sufficient so instead of giving it the whole long story what i have done is i have just asked it what happened afterwards so that it will fit into the memory there because model is also residing so let's wait for it to produce the result and we will check the rules and the character of the model and it took fair bit of time but you look at the response and you would notice that uh, let's not focus on the content of it but the way it is flowing the character in the seamless way just like we human play the roles the model has played the role in a very succinct way in a very smooth way and that is what really is a role play all about and i mean the high quality one also um you might have noticed that more often than not all of these role play models are either 70 or 72 billion or above sizes the reason is that role play requires a lot of verbosity character playing hierarchical structures and then plotting so all in all a very complex language structure and anything less than 70 billion or i would say maybe 50 billion might not cut it that is why unfortunately the sizes of these models are so big and that is why it is so hard for us mere models to run it even the quantized ones locally so i think the best bet is to go with the hosted ones uh, for i'm talking about the 95 percent of the people out there who don't have uh, this powerful gpu maybe you know a100 or something over 80 gb 70 gb of vram because otherwise um, it simply just becomes too taxing and you lose the uh, pleasure of this model but once they start running and i have shown it in few videos you just keep talking to them and i have seen people talking to these models whole night which is not healthy by the way but anyway so dream gen opus v1 i think again uh throws it out of the park as far as prose is concerned and um you know the human feel is there so and you can steer the conversation wherever you like also it brings the unique personality of llama 3 2 and as you know that llama 3 is quite ethical and safe so i believe that that is the same thing with this dream gen opus and interestingly the previous versions were a bit uncensored anyway but this one doesn't seem to be so that's it guys i will drop the link to its model card in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching